more than just student walkouts. It's um, really the next generation of America taking a stand. They've said that they've had enough, they've experienced enough, and I feel like the whole point of it is so that we, as the young people of America, can prove that we know what we're talking about, and we can prove that we can kick it with the old white guys in Washington. The March for Our Lives movement is a, again, a, a grassroots movement led by students that are saying, we've had it, we have had enough. I definitely think that it's a way for younger people to really have a voice and a say in what's going on. I think it's incredible. I mean, we were in high school last year, and I remember feeling something but not knowing what to do, and the students, especially from Parkland, are doing something, and that's incredible to see. And I think it's powerful just to know that like younger people do make a difference, and that it is affecting us a lot. I don't like guns. I don't think that they have any place in normal society, let alone schools. I think that they should be stick to hunting guns and not semi-automatics. I don't think they have any place in a civilian's home. Guns. I don't think we should completely ban all guns, but assault rifles and weapons that are used in military combat shouldn't be allowed to the general public. The fact that guns are in the, our constitution under the pretense that somebody is in a militia and the fact that we no longer have militias in the United States, I don't think that guns, therefore, have any purpose in our constitution anymore. And you really read the text and understand the historical context of it. Um, we have a National Guard instead of using civilian militias anymore, so I don't think we need them. We're a well-regulated militia. That's not what's happening here. Because of what's going on, it's not. So it's not well-regulated. So proud. I am so proud. 
I'm Nicola Leftig, and I'll be voting to end gun violence in the year 2022. 2018. 2019. 2018. 2022. 2018. 2018. My name is Sarah Raphael, and I will be voting to end gun violence in the year 2018.